Now let us see how we go about sizing PV for applications with battery. We had already looked at sizing PV for applications without battery. Now along with battery, what are the uh, modifications and extensions that we need to do in order to select the size of the PV panels. The first step would be to determine the load profile. This is a very important step. It in fact will uh, give us an entire picture of the whatever requirement for sizing the PV and also the battery. By load profile, we have to look at what are the types of loads that occur over the entire day and at what times of the day. So let us draw a graph of uh, on the x-axis time in hours from 0 to 24 hours. So we have 6 a.m. we have 12 noon here 6 p.m. midnight 12 midnight so this also will be 12 midnight so you have 0 to 6 a.m. in the night then 6 a.m. to 12 noon 12 noon uh, to 6 p.m. and 6 p.m. to 12 midnight covers the entire 24 hours of the day on on the y-axis let us have watts of the load so that actually this whole graph should give you the profile of the load over the entire day we shall sp split the entire day into two parts one part where the solar pv panel will supplement the load solar pv panel and battery both together will be powering the load either PV panel will be supplementing which will be the uh, battery will be dominating or uh, in high insulation condition the PV panel will be dominating battery will be supplementing which are the case both the PV panel and the battery are active that we shall call it as the day load and uh, the other type is called the night load in the night load PV is out of the picture there is no insulation, PV does not contribute anything, the entire load is uh, con uh, supported by the battery. So this portion roughly around 7 am to 5 pm uh, will be the portion that we can consider as the day load. Even at 6 am sometimes, okay, sun is just rising and uh, uh, but you may not uh, receive significant insulation and even during say at this uh, time zone where uh, sun is setting you may not have significant uh, insulation so around 7 am to 5 pm we can consider as uh, day load all the loads occurring during that time and during the remaining time we will say this portion from uh, uh, 12 uh, midnight to sunrise and uh, from sunset on to 12 midnight they all will be considered as times where night load occurs so we will write this down as the period where day load happens and here this time duration any load will be considered as night load and here too in this time duration any load will be considered as night load after having done the load profile over the entire day for a given application the takeaway out of this exercise or we need to have got the whatever of the day that is all the loads occurring during this period we need to have got the whatever of the night the night load which is all the loads occurring during this period and this period put together. We also need to get what is the peak load current useful for battery design and we will mark it as we will give the symbol ILM, I load max. We also need to have the average load current during the entire day again helpful in designing the battery the average load current we'll just call it as il so this uh, uh, these parameters ilm and il will be used for designing the battery 
along with of course the whatever requirement for the load whatever requirement for the day and night we will use for determining the uh, or sizing the pv panels let us consider an example on determining the load profile so let us say that there are uh, three loads one of the load load one is having this character it is having 48 volts uh, 48 watts and it is a day and night continuous load it occurs on all times of the day but, and it has a, a fixed uh, watts of 48 so this much amount of power 48 watt power continuously now load 2 let us say is a water pumping uh, uh, device so it is it is switched on three times daily for one hour duration each and it is switched on once before sunrise once at noon and once after sunset the load has an average running current of 4 amps at 24 volts dc so this is the character of load Two. Note that load 1 also is operating at 24 volt DC. So it is having 48 watts day and night continuous load at 24 volt DC. Let us mark that also at 24 volts DC so that the voltage is also defined for the load 1 and load 2. Load 3. Now let us take load 3. It is a 3 amp load occurring at 24 volts DC for every two hours it is switched on for a period of six minutes only so six minutes every time it is switched on but it is switched on at regular intervals of two hours throughout the entire day now let us draw the XY coordinates of the load profile the X is x axis is time and hours of the day let us mark 6 am 12 noon 6 pm and 12 midnight the y axis of course is watts load watts now first let me mark load 1 this is 48 watts that is corresponding to load 1 So this is 48 watts and this entire area 48 watts into 24 hours will be the watt hours consumed by this this particular load one in a day 48 into 24 watt hours now let me mark this as the daylight zone or the day load zone so that is somewhere around 7 pm 7 am in the morning to 5 pm in the evening so between this time this 10 hour duration let us consider that pv panel is active and participating in delivering energy to the load apart from the battery and during this period we say this is night load this is also night load where only the battery is participating so this is about load 1 now let's see load 2 water pump water pump is three times daily for one hour duration each time and once before sunrise once at noon and after sunrise so uh, it is having a running current of 4 amps so 4 amp into 24 96 watt instantaneous so let me incorporate that now let us say this is one hour duration and that is 96 watts height now this is 
before sunrise like likewise i should have one at noon and one after sunset so load 2 is taken care by these three rectangles height 96 watts and each duration one hour duration so you have 96 watt hours 96 watt hours and 96 watt hours here now uh, load uh, 3 is a 3 amp load for every 2 or 6 minutes duration so it is distributed throughout so you will see uh, spiky lines like okay that is 96 watts you will see spiky lines like this throughout the day I will not mark the spiky lines throughout uh, otherwise it will uh, disturb the graph so each of this line spiky line here represents 72 watts for six minute duration and occurring every two hours throughout the entire day let me move up the board and now let us calculate what are the day and night loads first the day load now day load we have defined the day to be 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. of course at different latitudes different places sunrise to sunset can be different you should appropriately choose that so we have here a 10 hour period which we consider as day load from here to here so what are the loads that are occurring uh, during the uh, daytime period as we have defined so what our day you have 48 into 10 so this 48 watt load is occurring constant for a 10 hour period so this area we need that plus this 96 watt water pump load load 2 so this is 96 into 1 there is only one rectangle in the day time period plus these 72 watt spiky lines 6 minute duration you will see between 7 am and 5 pm if I calculate every 2 hours you will have 5 such spiky lines here so 72 into 6 by 60 I have converted minutes to hours to have consistent units into 5 so there are 5 such uh, occurrences of this load here so when you calculate this 480 watt hours plus 96 watt hours plus 36 watt hours which is 612 watt hours so 612 watt hours of day load now let us calculate the night load so the night load is for the remainder of the day and it contains of 24 minus 10 which is 14 hours for our case here let me move up now let us calculate watt hour night which is equal equal to 48 into 14 plus 96 into 2 plus 72 every 6 minutes 7 so totally uh, every 2 hours the, spy, uh, the 72 watt load will occur for 12 times so 5 is considered in the day load the remaining 7 uh, will be considered in the night load and this when you calculate it 672 watt hours plus 192 watt hours plus 50.4 so you have 914.4 watt hours of night load this plus this together will be watt hours for the entire day let us now calculate the peak load current the peak load current is now you see that for load 1 is contributing 48 watts divided by the voltage 24 volts will be the uh, low uh, uh, will be the load current contribution of that load 1 96 by 24 volts and 72 by 24 volts 
let me move it up a bit so you have two amps contributed by load one four amps contributed by load two and three amps contributed by load three which is totally nine amps this is the worst case where all the loads can overlap so then the battery needs to supply 2 amps plus 4 amps plus 3 amps all together but you see that you can uh, you can manage the loads you can do load management such that some of the loads need not overlap for example load 2 and load 3 need not overlap you all that is uh, mentioned for the constraint of load 2 is that it should be before sunrise so you could always see to it that these two don't overlap in which case in which case the maximum worst case would be uh, 6 amps the battery has to uh, discharge uh, maximum peak load current of 6 amps under non overlapping conditions so if the load 2 and load 3 do not overlap now let us calculate the average load current too because this is also important in calculating the ampere hours of the battery so we will do a duty ratio um, uh, uh, based on the duty ratio 2 amps is occurring for 24 hours or for the entire day so 24 by 24 4 amp the load 2 is occurring 3 times daily 1 hour duration so 3 hours out of 24 and the 3 amp load is occurring 6 minutes by 60 converted it into hours and this is happening for 12 times every 2 hours divided by 24 hours so this will give you 2 amps plus 0.5 amps plus 0.15 amps and this works out with 2.65 amps as the average battery discharge currents throughout the uh, entire day if there is no participation from the PV panel if the battery was even supposed to uh, supply the load to, uh, uh, to the entire load for the entire day. 